This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat, that fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. Let's talk about it. Go ahead, He Knows. When you talk Floyd Mayweather, you talk boxing. And when you talk boxing, you talk Floyd Mayweather. Let me say it again. When you talk Floyd Mayweather, you talk boxing. And when you talk boxing, you talk Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is not running around like these la cucaracha, la cucaracha. Yo no puedo caminar. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Yo no puedo caminar. Like these scattering cockroaches are making you believe. Or they're talking to you in a fashion to where they're making you think for a second. <laughs> Stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense. And go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity fucking hush. When it's all said and done. They're not sitting here and telling you that Floyd is siding with Terrence Buck Crawford. Floyd is siding with Earl the Truth Spence. We know this to be true because you have to listen to his vernacular. You have to listen to his structure. See, a lot of beta males don't understand how alpha males talk, let alone understand alpha male structure and alpha male conversation. Floyd is basically saying that Terrence Buck Crawford is going to have to fight. Meaning that Earl the Truth Spence is already at the vantage point. Woof. What I said was so deep and profound. Bloop. Let me rewind that because I need to let that marinate in the corpus colospi and in the cerebellum. So hear me and hear me. Motherfucking well. When Floyd is talking and he's saying that Terrence Crawford needs to fight Earl the Truth Spence style. What he's basically saying is that Terrence Crawford needs to fight the style of Earl the Truth Spence. Earl the Truth Spence don't need to fight Terrence Buck Crawford style. Floyd knows this because Floyd had to fight Earl the Truth Spence style. His style is so front foot dominant. His style is so front foot variation in terms of strength. His style is unlimited pressure because pressure does what? It bursts pipes. It's pressure. It's deep waters. It's tactical aggression. What is tactical aggression? It's not just coming in and throwing everything at the kitchen, everything at the wind like Sean Porter. It's not that ineffective aggression style. It's tactical in the sense that you're feeling the aggression of the fighter, but he's coming in with tactical strategy. He's coming in with tactical ability. He's coming in with tactical dependent, dependability. And then you have to understand there's technical punching placement. What do you mean? Or what does he knows everything mean when he says technical punching placement? Technical in the sense that Earl the True Spence makes sure that he throws his punches accurately. They mean something every time he throws them. And he throws them at a 75 to 80% punching power rate. So that means every punch has thudding power behind it. He doesn't give you 100% because he understands just like any elite boxer understands, especially in the black slickster style variation. If you throw 100% of your punches, if you miss, you leave yourself open. Let me say it again. If you throw 100% of your punches and you miss, you leave it open. You only throw 100% after you have fully washed your opponent. If you notice earlier, True Spence, don't go 100% until he's washed you. Until he's put you in deep waters. Until he puts you in the deepest, the bluest, the heart is like a shark's fin. Until he drowns your rabbit ass. So this is what technical punching placement is. Accuracy. Landing every punch with a resounding effect. To where it systematically breaks down the opponents. And then there's body snatching work. Well, we know the sand. Off with the body, off with the body, off with the body. And then off to the head, off with the body, off with the body, off with the body, and then off to the head. Who's better than Earl the Truth Spence as a body snatcher 2.0 iteration? If Marvin Hagler was body snatcher 1.0, Earl the Truth Spence is body snatcher 2.0. Let me say it again. If Marvin Hagler was body snatcher 1.0, Earl the Truth Spence is body snatcher 2.0. This is why a lot of people say Earl the True Spence reminds them of Marvin Hagler. Because when Marvin Hagler fought, Marvin Hagler body snatched your ass. This is how he was able to split Tommy Hitman Hearn's wig. I want you guys to go back. Film reference. Film study. I'm helping you guys here. This is going to be Hagler versus Hearns 2.0, but more brutal, but more pain. 
bang and mo fucking bang it's going to be more tactical aggression more technical punching placement more body snatching work because we understand the conglomeration of it it's a levying onslaught of a punishment style this is what Terrence Bill Crawford has to deal with when Floyd Mayweather is basically saying you have to fight. You have to fight against tactical aggression. You have to fight against technical punching placement. You have to fight against body snatching work, the levying onslaught of the punishment style. You basically have to fight against a conglomeration. So when you fight against a conglomeration, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to get what's called domination. Let me say it again. When you fight against conglomeration, you're going to get what's called domination because the opponent has to dominate you. The opponent has to obliterate you and the opponent has to excoriate you. When it's all said and done, that is what Terrence Bell Crawford has to deal with. So you guys have to understand why this fight is only going to go one way and why Terrence Bell Crawford for the long haul, for 12 rounds, cannot sustain that. No one can sustain that. Because 99.9% of, of people on the planet cannot handle pressure. Only 0.01% of people can handle it. That's the cold-hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cut through truth teller fashion. I keeps the foot on the what? On the eggs. I keeps the foot on the what? On the eggs. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.